me Why that? are you wearing hoods in the car? We're just cold. You're just cold? Yeah. You're not trying to be gangsters, are you? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What do you think about Daddy's car? Oh, it's incredible. Why? Why is it? Why do you like it so much? It's a racing much? car. It's a racing car? Yeah. But like, stop. Boom. Rocket mode. Rocket mode? Yeah. And it goes super fast. Because it goes super fast? Yeah. Hope you're well, FK here. So I've bought a new car, Audi RS3 sedan. So first of all, it's a Nardo Grey 2017 model. It's got one owner from new, and it comes with quite a few different optional extras. It's got the black optics pack, which is including the wing mirrors, the grille, the black spoiler, the dark roof, the 19 inch wheels with the black inlays. Then we've also got the Audi interior design pack, which includes all the red accents on the vents, the stitching on the armrest, the gearbox, on the edge of the seat and then the diamond stitched perforated leather RS seats as well. It's a nice little finish. We've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system in here, magnetic ride as well with the Audi Sports Performance exhaust system. I can set the car to comfort mode which just makes everything much more docile and timid and quiet. Light steering wheel, very, very kind of relaxed throttle response. And it just makes driving it around, taking the kids to school, going to the shops, just quite easy and nice and pleasurable. And with all that, it really does become a really good daily driver. In fact, ease of driving is one of the great things about these Audi RS models. They are obviously extremely powerful and fast cars. However, at the same time, it's power which is very easy to control. So unlike the BMWs where you really have to be on point with your driving and you know you have to really treat those cars with a lot more respect because it can just snap on you at any point, with the RS cars, you feel so much more planted and stable, you feel more confident, you don't have to be a fantastic driver, you just floor the gas, let the Quattro do the work and the car just moves. to the RS3 you know I've had cars like the Evo 6 that was running about 3 380 385 that was GSR model 5 speed tuned by MR performance in Halifax I had a Subaru WRX STI that was a 2014 model it was a wide track version uh, and that was running around about 340 350 tuned by TSL so I've had a Supra MR2 so I've had some fairly quick cars and they've all been really fun to drive I had a lot of character um, and this is what I love about the RS3 because it is such, it's such a naughty little car. It's got so much character. It rumbles, it pops, it roars. And every time you sit in the car, it is like an experience. You've got the wonderful virtual cockpit. You've got this lovely sports flat bottom steering wheel with the Alicantra trim. I've got the bigger paddle shifts on there. You know, everything around you is just right. There's no, there's no messing about. There's nothing fussy. All the controls are where they need to be. Everything's there. It's luxurious. It's comfortable, but it's also very focused. And you know when you sit in the car that you're in something really special. You keep all the character and all the fun as you do with some of those other cars like your Subarus and your Evos and so forth. But then you're in an Audi at the end of the day. The car's still got two years Audi warranty and service. And out here you can't tune any car without avoiding the warranty. So I'll probably won't touch it for at least a year. And then I will probably most likely go to a, to a stage one or stage two. I hope the reliability will be good with the vehicle. So if anything does go wrong, it'll go straight back to Audi. One thing I found with the gearbox is when you are tootling about and it's really slow speed like in car parks, you know, the, the gearbox is not always as smooth as it can be, a little bit clunky at times. But when you're on the gas and you're going through the rev range and you're downshifting, everything's perfect, it's smooth. And when I think about it, you know, in this kind of price bracket, yeah, it's not a cheap car if you buy it brand new. I bought it a year old and saved the packet. And um, 
you know, for that you've got a 400 horsepower, a 0 to 60 car in about 3.9 seconds. You've got all the luxury and all the prestige that you need. You've got an exhaust which pops and bangs and an engine which just totally howls, which still gives you good fuel economy. And then you've got the nav, the sensors, the virtual cockpit. It's a brilliant, brilliant all round package and you can drive it every single day. You can throw the kids in the back, put the luggage in the boot. The next car on from this, most likely it's gonna to have to be a GTR, um, but I'm probably looking at another two years before I'll probably be in a position to get something like that. But you know, everything comes in time and I'm just very grateful that I'm able to comfortably purchase a car like this, run it every day. I don't know what else to say really. Anyway, hope you like the review. It's not really a review, it's just my view. And that's it, I'm gonna enjoy driving this and I'll see you next time.